Hello, welcome to my third video in the series. If you want to do a warm up before we begin, you can go back and do video number one, that would be the best one to go with this, or you can do one, two, and then this one all in a row. I just wanted to tell you that um, it can help you to sit up straight if you put a book or a yoga a brick or something under when you sit. That can raise you up enough, change the angle a little bit, that sitting up might feel a little bit easier. Today we're going to do a little bit of strength exercises, mostly for the arms and upper body. And all I've got here is two tins of beans. Try and make sure that both are the same weight, so don't use two different kinds of tins because that will make you a little bit lopsided. So, very simple, sitting up straight, nice and tall, long neck. Feel like there's lots of space around here, the shoulders are down. We're just going to curl up the side of the body and back down. So curling up and three and four and five and six. Keep your shoulders down and eight. Other side and lift. Try not to lift your shoulders, you do that, so keep it nice and low. There we go and four, I've lost count, this is probably five, and six, and seven, and eight. Good, now we're going to turn our wrist to the front and we're going to curl up to the shoulder and back down, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. And if that's too many, just do as many as you like. Take a break and two and come back to it when you feel ready. Three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Now we're going to alternate and one and two and three and four and five. Keep your shoulders down. Seven and eight. Good. Breathe. Just rest. Shake your shoulders around. Shake everything around a little bit. We're going to repeat the whole thing from the beginning. Ready? And one. And two. And three. And four. And five. Keep your shoulders down. And six. And seven. And eight. Other side. And one. And two and three, good, keep breathing, and four, shoulders down, and five, and six, and seven, good, and eight, we're going to curl to the front, and two, good, and three, keep breathing, four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, other side, and one, and two, three, good, and four, keep breathing, five, and six, and seven, last thing is alternating, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, good, just rest, give everything a bit of a shiggle around, good, and we're going to go just slowly now, it's really important this time that you keep all that space around your neck and shoulders, feel nice and relaxed in the shoulders and when you lift your arms be thinking about your shoulder blades just rotating smoothly on your back. So you're going to use all these underneath muscles not the ones on top. So we're going to lift up very slowly to the side and two and three, keep your shoulders down, four, lower, five. Feel those shoulder blades just rotating nicely on your back. And one, and two, keep rotating shoulders down and lower. And two, and three, keep breathing. And one, and two, and three, and four, and lower. And two, and three, good. And last time, and two, and three, four and five and six and seven and eight. Good, well done. Just give that a rest and a shiggle around. 
We're going to lift our arms up to the side. I want you to do just as much as you can manage. We're going to go up to the side and we're going to circle eight times going backwards and eight times coming forwards. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, coming forward, and one. Keep the shoulders down, and three, rest when you need to, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Good. I think you relax there. I'm going to do that one more time. Don't do it if it's too much, or just do half and stop, and come back when you're ready. Lifting up, shoulders down, breathing, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, coming forward, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Good, well done. Just relax, put your tins down, give your arms a bit of a shake around. Fantastic, we've got one more. Starting at the side again, this time we're going to do, turn the tins flat that way and we're going to do right on top, left on top, back to the side and then we're going to go left, right, back to the side. Okay, so we're going to do that eight times, stop if it's too much and pick up again. Ready and right, left and stretch and left, right and stretch and right and stretch, and left, right, and stretch, and right, left, and stretch, and left, right, and stretch. This is seven, right, left, and stretch, and left, right, and stretch. Good, put those down. That's nice, we have a nice stretch round. We're just gonna do circling, shoulders coming forward and round. Good, and reverse. There we go, that's good. One very last thing we're going to do, just to stretch your side muscles a little bit using the weights, just keeping, you imagine that your body is between two panes of glass and you're just going to go sideways and just stretch those side muscles. You should feel the stretch a little bit here. Just go as far as feels safe. Four and five and six. Nice and gentle, seven and eight. And the other way, one and two. Make sure you keep both hips on the chair, three. You don't want to lift off, it's a bit dangerous. Five and six and seven and eight. Good, we'll put the tins down again. And we'll just do one of these that we did in the first video. We're just going to slide your hands down your thighs, curving round. Slide your hands back and stretch. And again, sliding forward. And sliding back. And stretch. Good. And then you're just going to take your elbow, stretch that across a little bit, very gently, as far as is comfortable and change to the other elbow, just stretch that across a little bit. Good. And then you're just going to take your hand and push forward as far as is comfortable. Just going to stretch the inside of the arm here and the other one. Good. And just have a nice struggle. Thank you for joining me. We're going to do next week a little bit of moving, a bit of swinging so that you feel like you're keeping moving during this lockdown and I look forward to seeing you then. Thanks, bye.